Gizmo here um, welcome to my next video I'm just going to show you my um, kayak console that I've rigged up it's uh, a new improved version from the old one that I've had and um, yeah this is pretty much it this pops on the back of the kayak I've got another section that pops on the front I'm just going to show you how I've got this and how I've got it all set up now because uh, I did a trip with this and it worked pretty good um, let's get through it and I'll show you here it is all complete um, on my um, latest adventure that I did. Um, there are some tiny little slight modifications that I need to, to do it, but it was pretty good. And as you can see here, it weighs almost nothing. Um, yeah, it's only made out of 7mm plywood. And uh, yeah, there's a plug in the back, there's some electronics in there. For my accessories, one of them being my trolling motor. So I'm just placing it on the back here just to show you how it goes on. I haven't bolted it in place but just want to show you what it does. Um, I've made this little swivel section out of PVC pipe so that I can um, just put the trolling motor on and I can rotate it to the angle that I need it just by um, turning it and it locks in place just with some screws. just holds the trolling motor steady and I can tilt it up out of the way when I don't need to use it. I have another old video that shows me how I actually constructed a kayak console before and I did the same method when I built this one. If you want to check that out, the link is here. Now the trolling motor, it just uh, bolts on. Like I said, this thing should be bolted down solid, but at the moment I'm just doing a demo to show you how it goes on. Now I don't do a lot of fishing in my kayak. I use it mainly for camping and for day trips. Uh, so I haven't actually set it up for fishing, but if you're fishing you could use the same concept. I've got an Anderson plug in the back so I can plug the Anderson plug in for the uh, motor. And uh, yeah, that's the swivel section as it works. Just holds it up, I'll just turn it in and get it out of the way when I'm paddling without the motor. I want it to um, use it, I just undo the nut, swivel it around and I gotta lower it down. Yeah that thing's not bolted down so you get the idea. It just sits there like that and away you go. I've also got a cigarette lighter socket so I can use that to charge my accessories like my phone. I've also rigged up a little um, section where I can just put a bit of jockey strap on and hold the uh, little solar panel that I've got to trickle charge the battery during the day. It's just a, um, a 10 amp solar panel that just um, you know 90% of the time I'm not I'm not using the motor so I'm paddling it just puts voltage into the battery so that's pretty handy so the battery it just pops in the back there I've got another jockey strap that holds it in place I can plug it into the inside I'll show you where I plug it into I've just got an Anderson inside there um, just a little swivel catch and the Anderson's just there, that's where I plug it in. Okay, here's the front section, it's uh, fairly light as well. And uh, yeah, I just um, got it around the wrong way, but I'll just show you how that pops in place. You know, yeah, it doesn't weigh much, it looks like it when it's on the canoe, it looks like it weighs a ton, but it actually doesn't weigh hardly anything. This is a tandem kayak and if I'd had a front passenger they would weigh more than all my camping gear and the consoles put together. And the same thing I've just got like an um, elasticized jockey strap to hold it down. It was really good, there's a big volume of storage space inside it there. So as you can see here, it's got enough room to put all my dry bags in with my um, camping gear, my sleep, my, I have my tent, my sleeping bag and miscellaneous um, other gear that I could store inside of it. It's a um, pretty big volume area. Um, yes, yeah, so it holds a lot and I don't have to worry about tying everything down because it's just kept inside the storage box. also made this other little case on the front it's just a Tupperware container that um, contains my tools and other things that I need easy access to which is handy to get at 
And one last thing is the uh, the camera swivel mount that I've made just out of some PVC pipe. It's got two mounts for the cameras on it. I made other attachments in different spots where I can put it in different parts of the kayak. The big long arms on it so that I can actually reach it with my paddle and I can swivel it around to myself and uh, reattach and remove the cameras without actually having to move. That's the whole idea of the console and everything is so I can get to everything without actually having to move and get up because some of you have paddled in a kayak you know that it's hard to access your gear because you're fixed in one spot you can't move. Last but not least is uh, the Esky with all the essentials in it. Um, yeah, the Esky was the main thing for this trip. I wanted to take some ice and some cold meat and uh, yeah, just get out on the water for a great day. Um, you can follow this link to see this video on this ups and downs of this trip, but it was a great trip. See you later.